As I shared with the children, this is the Sunday when we traditionally read about Mary. And so as I go through the sermon, there'll be some non-traditional images of Mary shown for you. Christmas carols are some of my favorite thing about the Christmas season. Even though we're still solidly in the midst of Advent, we're just past the tipping point, really. You can hear Christmas carols played 24-7 on the radio. Every store you go in has Christmas carols playing. And we've got the secular ones. We've got Jingle Bells and Frosty and even Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. And we've got the sacred ones. We've got Silent Night and Oh Holy Night. And, and then we have Mary, Did You Know? It's a beautiful song. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? But if you've been reading the birth narrative according to Luke, the one that records the story of Mary, the only gospel that tells the story of Mary, she most certainly knew. The angel tells Mary, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of your ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary knew. According to Luke, she most certainly knew. Now somehow, over time, Mary has been painted in this meek way. We sing in Once in Royal David's City the line, Mary was that mother mild. Now, sure, the story goes that she was startled by the angel Gabriel. Wouldn't we all be? Just saying. And the story has it that she was an unwed teenage mom. That is not an easy position in which to be in. And aside from that, we actually don't know very much about Mary. We don't know if she was mild as the song goes. We don't know why God chose her. We don't know if she was quiet and reverent and very serious about her Jewish faith. Or she might have been a teenage rebel whose parents were caused so much grief every time she snuck out in the middle of the night and was caught doing no good. We don't know. What we do know is why not Mary? She, like everyone, is named, chosen, called by God. She, like everyone, is favored is blessed by God. As Elizabeth put it, as Jen was reading, blessed are you, Mary. What we do know about Mary is that she was strong and she was courageous. And she sings, my spirit rejoices in God. Despite the fact that as an unwed expecting mother she could face stoning. We do know that she sings of tables turning, of lifting the lowly, of bringing down the proud, of feeding the hungry. Now she doesn't sing of making Joseph dinner and doing the wash and sweeping the floor in fact, nowhere in the Gospels do we see Mary doing the traditional women's role. We see her fleeing with her toddler to Egypt to avoid Jesus being killed with all the other two-year-olds in the region. We see Mary traveling with Jesus as he preaches and teaches. We see Mary walking 
with her son in the face of danger and grieving his death on the cross. Mary does the unexpected turn after turn. She doesn't tell Gabriel, nope, I'm not going to do that. That's what I would have said. (laughs) She doesn't tell God, nope, not going to do it. She doesn't even tell Jesus, now you got to stay home. Just be a carpenter like your dad. Stay out of trouble. She doesn't do that. She takes God's message to not be afraid and to sing joyfully and somewhat rebelliously about her role. Now there's a story going around the internet that sort of captures this joyful rebellion of Mary. It's about a little girl named Savannah. And she was about five years old, the story goes, and she came to church all cozied up in her winter puffy coat in the summer in North Carolina. Now you can just imagine that she dressed herself and pitched a fit to her parents and said, no, I'm going to wear this coat. And they said, okay. So she has her coat on in church and she reaches into the pocket about 15 minutes into church and she pulls out a cutie little orange. She, she looks behind her and she passes the orange to the person behind her. And her parents have this look of horror on their faces and they said, Savannah, not again. And they turn around and apologize to the person behind them. And a few minutes go by. Savannah looks around. She reaches in her coat. Another cutie. Passes it to the other person behind her with a look of sheer determination, she reaches in another pocket, passes another orange, in another pocket, another orange, and she keeps going, her parents are mortified, until she has passed out 30 cuties. And she looks around and she says, now we eat. The whole congregation at this point is laughing, except her parents who are absolutely mortified because their daughter has interrupted church. But that is the joy. The joy that is somewhat rebellious. The joy that is about giving. That unexpected joy that Savannah had as she passed out the contraband oranges that she had in her coat that Mary sings of with the unexpected role she's been given. And you can almost imagine her gleefully laughing with Elizabeth, her cousin, as they talked about the babies they were expecting. Now the song, Mary, Did You Know?, she might not have known all that was going to unfold. That Jesus the rebel would afflict the comfortable, would challenge the wealthy, would provoke the authorities. But she knew. She knew this was no ordinary pregnancy, no ordinary child. And according to Nancy Rockwell in her article entitled, No More Lying About Mary, God sought Mary for her bold, independent, adventuresome spirit and decides to bear a holy child for a bold agenda. This Mary is well-spoken, wise, and gritty. Where's the Christmas carol about that Mary? The one who's wise and gritty. Well, our beloved Christmas carols haven't quite caught up with this Mary. Most of these carols, though, were written by men, sorry guys, a long time ago. And we have Mary in this meek and mild role. These carols were written hundreds of years ago, and they don't paint her as wise and gritty They don't paint her as the revolutionary who sings of a world that is drastically different than the one she inhabited. 
that is drastically different than the one we inhabit. These songs don't even paint her as gleeful as Savannah. But Mary was neither meek nor mild. That Christmas carol of the Mary who is anything but meek and mild doesn't really exist. But just this year, Jennifer Henry rewrote the words to Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know that your ancient words would still leap off our pages? Mary, did you know that your spirit song would echo throughout the ages? Did you know that your holy cry would be a subversive word that tyrants would be trembling when they heard your truth? Mary, did you know that your lullaby would stir your own child's passion? Mary, did you know that your song inspires work of liberation? Mary did know, as the words of the new song conveys. And like Mary, we can sing of a world that is radically different. We can sing of the world that God calls us to take part in creating. So this Christmas, let that be our song. Amen.